My name is Jiang Xiaobai. I was transported from Earth to this world of cultivation. It has been 18 years since I got here, 18 years of being sick. Through a stroke of luck, I was accepted into an immortal sect called Yunjian sect, and became a menial servant with a bright and promising future. I firmly believe that as long as I persevere, I will obtain an immortal pill one day, and my sickness will definitely be cured. Finally, on one certain day, newcomer, cough out all the spiritual stones and medicinal pills you received from Elder Huang. I will guarantee your safety in the spirit feeding ground in the future. Yang Cheng Outer Disciple Qi Refining Stage, First Layer. Elder Huang gave them to me, why should I give them to you? That Yang Cheng is at it again. TSK, why should I? You are just trash that sweeps the floor, I can easily kill you with the flip of my palm. I painstakingly climbed the mountain to seek for a pill, all for the sake of curing my fatal illness. On the mountain at that time, if Grandpa Song didn't sacrifice his life to protect me. And at that key moment, if that female immortal didn't save me, I. I'm afraid I would have long died on the mountains. Today, I finally managed to enter a sect, and have just received medicinal pills and spiritual stones, but I ended up getting threatened by that person. How can I accept this? Face your reality, in Yunjian sect, only the strong will win. Right now, you're nothing but a lowly servant in Yunjian sect spirit feeding ground, no one will care about whether you live, or die. I clearly told you to not only give up the spiritual stones and medicinal pills you've today, but also to give them to me every month. All the servants do it, this is the rule. Little Bay. Little Bay, you should give them to him first, his cousin is our Yunjian sect's direct disciple, we can't offend them. It's like this for everyone too. TSK, fine, I will give. At least you know your place. Isn't that right, being an obedient dog is more worth it than being a dead corpse. Give them to me now. Give? I will give you nothing. Little Bay. You messed up big time. You. Actually dared to hit me? Beat him to death. Little Bay, run. Stop right there. So fast. I'm going to get caught. This path is. Stop urgently that direction is. The forbidden zone. Boss. He chose to seek death by himself, this isn't our fault. If Elder Huang asks, say that he ran in by himself. If not, don't even bother thinking about living well. Yes. To my broken body, this medicinal pill is my life. Asking me to give them all up is the same as asking me to give up my life. Speaking of which. Why didn't they chase after me here? I was sealed up for so long. Finally, some living food. Giant monster? Wait, I. I came here for a reason. Reason? Could it be? Could it be that you are sent by Rujian? Are you or are you not? Rujian is Yunjian sex ancestor, could it be that this giant monster has some relation with Rujian? I was sent by him. Fine fine fine, this little old man Rujian lied and said I would only be sealed for 100 years or 50, but in this 100 years, he didn't even dare to come at all. Did you come to laugh at me? I understood why ancestor Rujian used chains to imprison this giant monster here now, or did he finally come about and sent you to help me? No, this is something even he couldn't help me, unless this sick little man can somehow do it? Eh? Your soul power is quite something. Wait no, not only that. But you. You were born with an innate soul root? The probability of an ordinary person possessing a spirit root is quite high, the only difference is whether it's of good or poor quality. But soul root is something that not even geniuses or monsters might possess. But this sick little guy in front of me actually possesses a soul root? What? You don't know? That old guy Rujian didn't tell you before? Yes. This is my first time hearing of soul power or soul root or whatever, how would I even know? Whatever, I can't be bothered to care about all that. Not only did that old man Rujian sent you here and didn't tell you why, but you also possess an innate soul root, since that's the case, why don't you come and try it? If you can really pull that thing out, I will spare your life. Suddenly changing his mood and letting me pull something out, don't tell me. This monster talked about killing me right from the start, if I just pull it out, I might be killed immediately. I have to take the initiative to gain the upper hand, this is the only way I'm able to save myself. Since that's the case. No. Incredibly decisive. What? Didn't you want to kill me, why should I help you? You. I will kill you today. Calm down, for the sake of freedom bear it bear it, fine fine, I won't kill you, but if you can pull it out, I will reward you. TSK, I don't care about that then what do you want? Apologize to me. And you must promise to not kill me. You actually want me to apologize to you? Fine fine fine. This venerable one will apologize to you, this venerable one also promises to never kill you. That's more like it. Cough cough. 
Speak, what? What do you want me to pull out? What is that sword? A hundred years ago, I accidentally wandered into a secret realm and painstakingly managed to leave but my head was pierced by this thing. I searched for many people to pull out the sword, but no matter how high of a cultivation level they are, they either perished or suffered severe injuries. Even for your ancestor, he only tried it once and his soul was almost destroyed. That's so ridiculous. And then, I was lured into coming here by your ancestor and imprisoned by these chains till now. Damn it. My mind is starting to get influenced by this damn sword again. Kid, if you don't act now, it would be too late and I would have swallowed you before you even pull out the sword. I understood why Ancestor Rujian used chains to imprison this giant monster here now. He must have been afraid that this monster would lose his mind and kill mindlessly right? But what other choice do I have? None at all. No matter what I do, I die. But at least by stepping forth, there is a chance that I might survive.